Hello everyone, this is Jasmine from Jazz Draws Art, and today I just decided I would be doing a more of a comic book relaxed sketching session rather than just completely having to plan out something because life is getting pretty busy in my house. Um, we're redoing the carpet, we're putting in new carpet, so like it's a lot of moving, a lot of packing, a lot of rearranging, cleaning. So I've been really, really busy lately, and that and the comic stuff I have to do for the comic market I am doing on the 20th. It's been a wild ride, and I'm so happy about it, but at the same time, man, there is a lot of stuff to do. So I hope you guys don't mind having something a little bit different just to have a little bit more of a sketch and I kind of just feel it out in the way that I want to. I have been trying to practice making things look a little bit more comic book-ish if that makes sense because of course I still have my own style but sometimes I would like things to look a little bit more like recognizable as a comic and so it, I like to try every once in a while to work on that especially since it can be a little bit hard for me. It's not as easy to follow as making things the way I normally do, which is kind of a mix of like realistic-ish, graphic novel-ish, and Disney-ish, because I kind of just ended up taking bits and pieces of everything and creating whatever it is that my stuff is now. And so I just had a lot of fun playing around and seeing what I could do and trying out some of my comic brushes that I have. So this is like a pencil brush, which I actually really enjoy sketching in. It's a lot better than some of the other brushes I've used. It helps to keep things a little bit more sharp and a little bit more focused. And when I draw like actually on paper, like traditionally, I love pencil. I love the look and crispness of like pen and everything like, um, brush tip pens and markers and stuff like that but it can be kind of finicky to work with because if you wreck it you can't fix it whereas pencil a little bit more forgiving so I I really do love drawing in pencil but for you guys I thought that doing a sketch like this trying to get better at my uh, comic book photoshop skills because it's a little bit easier sometimes to draw comics like by hand to make it look really detailed and everything but it for some reason just doesn't look the same when you draw it directly in photoshop and that's why a lot of comic book artists like for decades have been drawing things <laughs> on paper and then especially now the digital age it's starting to turn the other way but still a lot of comic book artists do draw on paper and then get everything like finished up and then they just touch it up digitally and color it that way, which I think has a really nice look to it, but it would take forever to do panels like that, at least in my case, and to keep everything proportionate. And so this is just my way of trying to practice and have a little fun, see what I can do. And plus you can also fix your mistakes on digital stuff so much better. But the downside to that is that my computer just decided to be really laggy this time and uh, take forever loading during certain things even though it should have been totally fine but fingers crossed you know um, once I get my better setup put up after the whole house carpet thing is done then maybe I'll be able to get all of this the way I want it. I ended up playing around with how I wanted to do the eyes and everything, seeing if I wanted to make it a specific character, which I did. I ended up making it my uh, superhero, but I made him look a little different and I'm not mad at it. But I don't know if I'll be keeping this design or not. Either way, he looks really serious and gruff in this and I kind of like it. It looks cool. But yes um you'll see me try different brushes i really like this uh two lines brush it kind of gives everything like a like a what am i looking for a brush tip but not just solid it gives it more of like a brush strokes yeah that's what i'm looking for it gives it more of a brush strokes look so it has more of like a traditional feel to it which i really liked playing around with and um i'm also trying to figure out how to do shading like the my blacks and everything and knowing how to put that and the hatching and the rendering together that's something that in the way I've been drawing my whole life is really hard to figure out like 
lighting and everything is just a struggle when you have to condense it into just like a shape without doing too much because you get addicted to it. It's like highlights. You can't put too many. Even though they look really good, you can't put too many or it like messes up everything like you did too much and it's overboard. And so it's, it's really a tight line you have to walk on because you do just a little bit too much and you ruined it. And you don't do enough and it's like it looks undone and so um that's why i say this is practice this is not professionally like rendered or anything this is me figuring out what looks good and trying to make things a little bit more angular rather than the way i normally do things it's always good to try and explore and see if there's something you can do that's different that maybe works for what you're looking for but yes i i love doing busts i love doing headshots um, portraits. It's my thing and so I really liked having fun with this. Giving him a strong chin, trying out a different mouth and nose and the whole shebang. I did end up making this um, at like midnight and so it may have been a little rushed but I also was having a hard time as I said with my computer and so I really was just like whatever goes i'm good with <laughs> whatever happens see here's me trying to figure out the blacks and realizing i don't like it and then here's me trying to do it again and again and again and again honestly you'll see me play around with a lot of different effects and styles <laughs> but i have been watching a lot of tutorials i've been working really hard on my comics and i did actually get the books sent in to be printed for two of my comics and so they will be ready for the comic and zine market that i will be participating in i'm super excited about it i also got my packaging here the boards and bags i got stickers i got the what's it called payment gate it's a square it's the thing where people can pay with their cards and stuff so i can actually take payment because it's starting to be a cashless world and also it's just much easier for everyone involved but yeah i i really liked being able to see these things arrive and the comics are still on their way but to be able to like just feel the excitement that people believe in me people want to help me do this and i could not be more thrilled <laughs> that i actually get to do this because getting into comics feels like impossible these days even though so many so many comics come out every day in so many different countries and so many different companies everything and it's it's so hard to market yourself and get where you want to be with it and so i'm so grateful for everyone who's helped me out this far and i hope that you guys if you like this sketch or anything like it um you can check out my website which is linked down in the description below and you can see more about my comics, more about my character, and I will be having a new series coming out this year, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And as you can see here, I'm just playing with the shading, trying different filters, seeing how it looks, because I just want to keep it kind of minimal, and seeing what I like. And I use the selection tool and a gradient just because it is like the most simple way to shade. <laughs> to make it look more dynamic rather than just flats and having to figure out layering and everything. Um, I really, this is my shortcut to making things look interesting, just so you know, people that want to keep it simple. All right, so I signed it and I titled it. And here is the finished piece, you guys. Thank you so much for all of you who watched, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and to subscribe for more content like this and other stuff too because I do so many different things. Alright, thank you so much you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!